And welcome back to Yakuza Zero. I think it's about time we uh, continue on with uh, Mr. Knock Knock's training. Hmm? Uh. Who's there? All right. So I I legitimately don't remember what I said. Uh, anything about this? Hey, there's an item over there. Uh, but I think it's a lot easier to do Kamoji's training if you've if you're already like knee deep in the real estate mini game, because his training gets real expensive to mess up later. Mm. Like even right now, it's a hundred thousand. Which, I mean, right now that's not a lot, but in the first two chapters, that that's kind of a lot. Mm. Hi. This will be a good refresher. Uh. If I didn't skip past it. But yeah, uh. Keep dodging for a minute, don't let them touch you. So, I believe that this one isn't too bad. You basically just gotta. This, this one's testing you to make sure you know how to dodge to the side. I just can't believe you let that guy kick that lady twice. Oh, she'll be fine. He's not the one who's got 100k riding on this. That you know of. Like, you telling me yeah, there's, so no, <laughs> there's no side bet action here? Look, be just because they might be doing it, as long as I don't know about it, it's not on my conscience. How do you think he's gonna win? It's gonna be a punch or a kick that he lands. <laughs> you think he'll just uh, suplex him with his legs? If only. <laughs> But yeah, um, for this one, I, I highly recommend having the, the camera tilt to the side so you can see both characters at once. Uh, this one, I don't think I ever actually did or uh, cleared on when I was playing on consoles. Hi. So from this training, we've learned how to uh, to do damage weaving. Oh, I thought you were going to say that we learned to do the rope dope I mean, I'm sure we could learn how to do that, too. All right, next one. After uh, checking on my properties. Uh. Any goon, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't know any. <laughs> Certainly not by their recent YouTube video. <laughs> ah, not bad! Man, that's gonna be old news by the time this goes up. Probably. Hold on, I'll make it new news. <laughs> uh, watch, watch me fly. If only I could, like, record myself like in video form while doing this. <laughs> uh. uh, dear Santiago Farms, I was probated six hours. Uh, it says distinguished service probation. For being dare smart in honorable post in combat. Damn you, B wagon. <laughs> More like feet wagon. 
because you smell like them. <laughs> Anyways, I don't really care about something awful. Uh, rule one and two are stupid. Ha! <laughs> Owned. Anyways, like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, it'd be really helpful. I could use some money. Bye. I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were doing like a Powered by the Cheat Strong Bad impression. Dear Strong Bad. <laughs> How do you type with boxing gloves on? Anyway, uh. As I'm, sure, <laughs> as I'm sure people have noticed, the trick to this one is just guard. I thought it was more like raising the roof. <laughs> no, 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 that's that's how they do it. Oh. But for Kiryu... Maybe Kiryu is just like a really big X-Pac fan. Maybe. <laughs> Nobody's a real X-Pac fan. <laughs> Everybody just like Degeneration X. Oh, I suck it! <laughs> I bet he was doing that at the end. Uh. Here you, please. You just stood <sighs> there and held your arms up. He's Kiryu's just patronizing this guy at this point. <laughs> Here's like, so how much should I make this time? Oh, like seven hundred thousand out of the two okay. million yen, huh? Okay. So, so for doing that one. Here you can now uh, put up his guard again after it, get, it gets broken in a uh, rush style. Hmm. Can be helpful. Sure. Quick trip to go get more money and uh, now Ten we're up to the. T okay, yeah, I can uh, see how you, why you'd want to be in this uh, deep in the money game at this point. Yeah, it's expensive to mess up. Somehow I feel like it should buy you more than a new car. Uh, 10 million yen, that's like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, that's like a small house. <laughs> hey, you guys. You know, I've never seen somebody ever call themselves a well-heeled guy. Good. Yeah, that's a really weird descriptor. I prefer, oh. like, Two Shoes Malone or Tommy Two Shoes. Yeah. Ed the Sneaker Guy. All right. So this guy is bringing a katana to the party. What about Johnny Soul? Yeah. Except his name's actually spelled S O U L and it's like a double play on words. <laughs> like I'm not even charging that much for as a fee, Sega. <laughs> You know, I knew this would come up, so I just want to say that I'm, I really wish that the AI, like, if you're going to do, like, oh, he's got a katana or a sword or a kendo stick or whatever, why would you not just, like, if the sole point is to hit him, right, why mm -hmm. would you not just, like, outstretch your arms, right, katana in one hand, and in this small of an area, you either get hit by the katana or the dude that punches you. Like that, bait. Like, like, really, it's, you know, I just, yeah. I just feel like there's a way to beat this easy. <laughs> uh, this one's, I think, was actually one of the trickier ones. I mean, you know, if you dodged. I mean, I was trying to do like the X button dodge. Just wasn't working as well. I feel like you need to do the side dodges. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you pr you should be doing the side dodges. <laughs> I thought, like, the weaving I, was going to be I good enough. I just wanted to get really fancy. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, you should have still done it, but just only shown the successful attempt. I just mm. wanted to show that one because, I, like, in editing, I 
Like, I, I, I knew I screwed up, but I didn't realize I screwed up in the first five seconds. Because I was trying to get fancy. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah, this guy comes back. He's gonna try cutting us to ribbons again. You know, I I'm at least glad that they have, like, recurring texts. Like, if you see him again, it's like, ah, oh, this will be easy money. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good. Uh, so, yeah, you want to be careful, because uh, with the katana, this dude has some wide swings. Oh my god. You know, this is like the perfect sequence to like just just splice in space balls. I think it's about an hour and two minutes in or whatever. And they're having the fight with the lightsabers and they slash one of the, the support guys from like the actual crew. Oh no. Just, just splice that in. I... <laughs> and both characters look at each other like he did it. <laughs> that, that would... That would go pretty well with this, actually. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, this. Otherwise, this man has killed at least four people. Or he's been sold a bum katana. <laughs> I mean, it worked on you last time. Yes, but it didn't kill me, is the thing. Uh, did it, though? Look, I may have lost the round, but it didn't kill me. <laughs> I like how now it's like, is it enchanted? It's like, that's the same question we were asking. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Last time. God, you know, come, Moji, come you on. already asked this. Come on. <laughs> Let me guess, the last course is against Majima because he's the only one we would know that's one, a great fighter looking for a fight and with that amount of money. Uh, you're like 20, 20 years too early for that kind of thing. Shh. Let me train. <laughs> Alright. So we learned a new move, but I don't actually know which one it is. I'm sure it has something to do with dodging and weaving. Mm. I'm sure someone will probably correct me on that. <laughs> uh. Anyway, it's time for the 100 million course. Remember, Friend Kiryu, it's duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. Hi. Just throw a wrench at him, for God's sakes. If it works in, uh, like 30 years from now. <laughs> you know, maybe not, maybe ease off on that. Didn't think we'd find one so easy. <laughs> You're not supposed to put down your target. Seriously. Are you okay with me using a weapon? He pulls out a, a gun. Uh. <laughs> I really want him to be like, uh, you you okay with me using a weapon? You know, and everybody's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, I defeated the guy with the sound, uh, a katana. No biggie. And then he pulls out two of those Hulk hands. <laughs> It's pretty great, actually. <laughs> oh, it starts. Uh, that'd be great. But, uh, it, yeah, this guy is packing a gun. Man, I'm disappointed I called the gun. <laughs> I don't approve of his gun, so I'm just gonna punch him in the face. Ah, the Batman route. Yup.
easiest hundred thousand, hundred million yen my life. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, see him going. Damn, still alive after Kiryu just lightly taps him on the face is uh really goofy. Boy. Like I'm sure this is supposed to play out uh, if you get shot. <laughs> it just makes him look like he's looking to die by uh, the tiniest punch. <laughs> I've got a death wish, and only Kiryu can satisfy it. <laughs> <laughs> Tap. Ow! <laughs> I think you broke my neck. <laughs> really, the guy's just big on insurance fraud. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. it's the best timeline. <laughs> I mean, that's not how pulverizing works. I, yeah. I don't look at a chicken breast and go, all right, I have to turn you into like Katsu or whatever, and then just dodge it for four hours. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, do the duck and weave. You got this. As someone throws knives at me. All right, last round, let's go. Ah, the shoddy men. The shoddy men are actually kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Mostly because they, they don't wait for each other, so they just kind of, they just kind of go. They overlap when you're trying to punch the shit out of some other dude. I mean, I was going to say, it seems like it would be the case if you, you know, just been doing the fights properly. Can you use items, or are you like... You can use recovery items. I don't oh, okay. think you can pull out a weapon, though. I mean, that makes sense, but I was just kind of wondering, like, if this was one of those times where it was really hard. It's not crazy hard, but yeah, you, you do kind of want to be careful a little bit. No heat actions, either? Um, that that's more on me being bad with rush style. <laughs> Like, I, I find that it's really hard to do the action with Rush Style. Yeah, like, the game, I think, just taught us how to do a new one, but, like, the, one of the enemies has to be frightened for you to do it. Which I can't really do all that easy in Rush Style. Like, straight up, I think Rush Style might be, like, the worst style in this game. Like, it still has its uses, don't get me wrong. Like, it's pivotal for one of the bosses, but... Overall, it's, uh, really weak, and it doesn't do a whole lot to deter enemies. Yeah, it really feels like a, a style that's good 1v1, where, like, but you have to be, like, reactionary to everything your opponent does. Yeah, and even then, like, when it, even when it is one-on-one, -on -one, like, you can't really do your heat actions. Like, you... You have the one where your back is against the wall, and you, uh, do a... An awesome counterattack, mm. like that one's super easy to set up. But the other ones, like you get, you don't have nearly enough time to actually do them. Like once you've set them up. Yeah. Yeah, this one. I was really hoping for a stomp at the end, and not you having to kick him. That would have been pretty cool, actually, but... Like, like if you're gonna I, make a heat action, take all three bars, you know, add that little something. Hmm, yeah. Oh well. Yeah. All right, and that's the end of Kiryu's fisting career. I'm done. <laughs> uh. 
sang. Mmh. <rire> And that's why I'm fine with you having a Kiryu. <rire> This is after he's, uh, walked away with several million, anyway. Mm. Although I guess he does have a plan for it, so... <laughs> uh. 